Adventure. Adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. Once again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. The next time I come to the bank to make a deposit, sailor, I'm going to pay somebody to stand in line for me. Yes, Slate. All the things a man has to go through. You'd think the bank would figure out a better way to handle their customers instead of making them wait half the morning. You picked this line. I wanted to get in the next one. But no, you had a system. Stand in back of a filly with the slimmest ankles because they move. How was I supposed to know she's been saving pennies for 20 years? What are you pushing me for? The teller's waving to you. You're next. Oh. Good morning, Philippe. Buenos well, dias, Senor Shannon. You wish change for the parking meter again today? We wish to deposit $14 today, Philippe. I do not believe. Is it joke? Show him, Slate. Yeah. Here. 14 bucks. Come on, come on, Philippe. I got things to do. Still, I do not believe. Still, is it joke? Two deposits on consecutive days. This has not happened with you before, senor. What are you talking about, Philippe? Uh, I was just surprised, that's all. Yesterday, a deposit of $1,000. What? What $1,000? Senor, I received the transaction myself. A man came, gave me $1,000, and a deposit slip made out to your account, as is shown here, entered on your record. He was a short man, wasn't he? With wings and a wand and pointed ears. A tall man. What struck me immediately was his lack of wings and one. Now, if you please, I will enter the thousand dollars in your passbook. <laughs> Gracias, señor. Let's get out of here, sailor, before this whole joint goes up in a puff of smoke. Mario. Mario, open up. Come on, kid, open up. It's Johnny. Been asleep, kid? No. No, I, I had no sleep. Well, I brought us something to eat. Here's a couple of sandwiches and a can of soup. No, I, I have no hunger. You're a growing boy, kid. You've got to eat. Come on. I'll heat up the soup. Johnny, you say to me you are my amigo, my friend. I am, kid. I'm your good friend. Maybe the only friend you've got. Why you bring me to this port, Mariel? Make me live in shadows? Make me to walk at your side like a dog? That's a fair question, kid. Then answer me. If I brought you into Havana in the bright sunlight, they'd machine gun you on sight. Like they did your father before you. I'm not afraid of them. Let them know I'm here. Let them know I've come to avenge my father to finish his work. Look, Mario, your old man died in the gutter at my feet. He was my friend. His dying bought me a byline. It was the first one I ever had. Political figure assassinated. Eyewitness account by Johnny Thomas. Well, I contacted Shannon, Mario. He'll get you into Havana in the still of the night. You spoke with him? Well, no. I just watched his mouth drop open at the bank when the teller told him that he had $1,000 that he never had before. He knew your father. He loved him. A thousand bucks? <laughs> that makes the heart grow fonder. So let's eat, kid. I'm starved. Let's ask King Moses if he sees it, too. Uh, he won't see it. I know he won't, but let's try. King, King, come here for a minute. Yes, Miss Sailor. What is it I can do for you? Take this bank book. All right, now open it. 
Very good. Now look on the last line on page one. What do you see? If you would have come to King Moses, I would have gotten the money for you somehow. I am your friend, and I will come to visit you often and play my guitar to you. I will get it. Shannon's place. What? Mr. Shannon, please. Oh, yes, Mr. Shannon is here. It is for you, Mr. Shannon. A long-distance call. Oh, that Queenie, I told her not to call me. I'd call her. Give me the phone. Hello, Queenie. You got your thousand, didn't you, Shannon? Oh, who is this? I'll tell you tonight. You want to earn that grand, Shannon? I've got an idea you do. All right. Tell me how. Just take a walk tonight. Main monument. About 11. Goodbye, Shannon. The Main Monument by Tropic Moonlight Slate. Monumental, isn't it? You noticed it too, huh? Hey, maybe this will be our guy, sailor. He better be. How long can you wait for someone who slips you a thousand bucks? Hmm. You think uh, all your life would be overplaying it? Would you happen to be looking for two suddenly rich people, mister? I would. The money makes a happy bulge in your pocket, doesn't it, Shannon? Mine, too. Who do we have to kill for it, mister? And uh, will you issue the gats? <laughs> this will be the easiest bundle that you ever made, Mr. Val. You know our names? You give us money. The bank opens at nine. Be there. You can have back your grand. Let's go, sailor. Now, listen to me. I'm Johnny Thomas. I scribble for the papers. Maybe you've seen my stuff right next to the comics? Oh, I have. Good, too. That's why you shower bills on us? Because you found someone who reads you? Because I want you to get a kid into Havana. A kid by the name of Mario Carrada. Carrada. The name register? Carrada. Mm, Carrada. Hey, a man by that name was murdered a while back. A man I liked, admired. Mario's his son. He's at Mariel waiting for you. Pier 12. Do it for two grand and a man you liked. At four this morning? I got the kid out of Havana so he wouldn't die too. What makes him want to go back? Because he figures he's got a mission, you know, a grail. Sometimes that happens to a good kid. Duck, sailor, duck! Get, get the kid, Shannon. Get, uh... They killed him, Slate. They shot him down. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they did, sailor. That makes two dead. Maybe we can keep a third one alive. Into my office, senorita. Senor. Now look, Inspector LaSalle. I have been looking. I look at you, I look at Senor Shannon. What I see is invisible, nevertheless there. Violence. The shadow of a dead man's body. Por favor, in. What did you drag us down here for, LaSalle? We told you what happened. We didn't miss a detail. Johnny Thomas phoned me and said... What is Senor Thomas to you? He deposited a thousand bucks in my bank account. Because he is sending you through correspondence school, eh? Because he wanted Slate to do a favor for him. All favors that cost a thousand dollars or over can be illegal. This I had to write 100 times upon the blackboard when I went to the police academy. Why don't you stop pinching your own cheeks and listen to us? I put both palms upon the desk. I smile kindly. I lean forward slightly and I ask you a question. I say please and I ask. Please... How did the name of Mario Carrara intrude into your conversation with Senor Thomas? Please. Let's not get childish, LaSalle. You know as much about Mario as I do. You know his background. You know who his father was. And if I remember correctly, you liked his father as much as I did. Senor, we of the police are never mixed with politics. The axiom is the one concerning the keeping of the clean nose. I permit myself no opinion. Opinion or not, LaSalle, you'd better face it. There are political gangsters in Havana like there are any place else. Mario's father was a good man. You're not giving him credit, sailor. He was a lot better than that. Otto Carrada was assassinated. Havana wept for him, which included me. And the murder of Johnny Thomas is something else to weep about. Because it's all part of the same thing. I will tell you something, Senor Shannon. You are Americano. You are here in Cuba by the grace of my government. 
You will not meddle in matters political. To me, it's not a matter political. As far as I'm concerned, two men died. Two good men. They were murdered. That's something to meddle in. You want to tell me anything else, LaSalle? No? Wave goodbye to the inspector, sailor. You sure Thomas said Pier 12 site? Yeah. The machine gun jotted it down for me. We've been waiting here on the bold venture for over an hour. Look, it's it's almost dawn. I don't look for anything but the kids, sailor. At dawn, we can see any time. I'm not so sure. This could be our last one. Maybe I ought to go into Marielle and try to find him. Maybe the kid overslept. Maybe he's dancing somewhere. No, Slate. We wait here. If you went looking for him, the boy might get hurt. You might get hurt. Yeah. Well... Maybe I better keep it the way they wanted it. Hey, look, sailor, that power boat is circling in toward us. Maybe the boy's on it. Maybe he's... Ahoy, Paul Venture, ahoy! Yeah? Hold out your hands, Shannon. I've got a package for you. Catch! Got it! Open it, Shannon. Then hold it close. It will break your heart. What's in it, Slate? A hat. The initials M.C., Mario Carrada? You think it's his hat? I don't know, sailor, but this... This blood, it's still wet. Throw it away, Slate. I don't want to look at it. Yeah. Let's get out of here. I don't think Mario's going to keep our appointment. Our stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. Mr. Slate, lady, say, Lord, they go to the bank to deposit $14 to fill the blank. At the window, they get a gratuity, a $1,000 community property. To earn the money is a very small matter. To bring to Havana a person unknown grata. They sail to the port and wait for the boy. But he hot with blood make tears no joy. You're right, King. It makes tears. Carrado was a fine old man. They cut him down in a busy street. The tourists gathered round to watch him die. Now his son. Guy yells, here, catch. He throws me a hat soaked with a boy's blood. Do not try to bring back a dead boy, Mr. Slate. It will only give you more anguish. Who says he's dead? If he is or if he isn't, King's right. Leave it alone. Tell me how I do that, sailor, because I'd like to know. I really would. Give it to the police, to LaSalle. You still haven't told me how it'll leave me alone. (sighs) Yeah, that's how it always is with you, isn't it, Slate? How it's always going to be. So I can get up in the morning and shake hands with myself and say, How do you do, Slate Shannon? Glad to meet you. King said it, Slate. How will you bring a boy back from the dead? What's with you and King? You dead happy? I'm going to look for Mario Carrada. Don't wait up for me, you two. I couldn't take it. How do you feel, Mario? Mario? I, I have a thirst. The, the blood I have lost. You return to Cuba. I cannot permit this. Did Water. Slate Shannon bring you back here to Mariel? No, senor. It's verdad. You will not speak Spanish. You will forget even the language of this country. Else you will die. Comprende? Comprende? Yes. Yes, you understand. Now, Mario, 
You came to Havana to avenge your father's killing. To kill me? No. No, no, it's not so. It is so. Slate Shannon. What plot have you made with him? Nothing. I, I swear it on, on my father, I swear. Permit me but a sip of water. You see, oh. of course. <laughs> You are a good boy now, Mario. You have forgotten how to speak Spanish. Huh? I like you. I will give you the water. If you tell what the Spanish word is for water. The word, Mario. What is the word? For the water, the word. Agua. <coughs> you remember the Spanish word. <laughs> Suffer a little more until you forget. Perhaps until you die. Sit down, Senor Shannon. You look quite pale, quite worn. Yeah. I am, LaSalle. The only other time I have seen you so is the time when we picked you up after an all-night clam bake. Because you were cracking the clams too loud. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah, that was quite a party. One of the clams bit back. I've been looking for Mario Carrada. Every place I know. Everyone who knew him. He's not there. Nobody knows him. I told you before, senor. Before, I was supposed to pick him up in Mariel. Before, it was a big political secret you wanted no part of, remember? This I have been trying to tell you. I still have no part of it. You have been friendly. Goodbye, senor. Not even if he's dead, maybe. Murdered, maybe. Why do you say such a thing, senor? Why? Come in. Senor Juan Miguel. To what do I owe your presence? Cambi La Salle, it is that I have come for Mario Carrada. So? This man also wants him, Senor Miguel. This man, Slate Shannon. Just for the record, Senor Miguel. What do you want, Mario? To uh, make amend to him for the dying of his father? To welcome with open arm the boy to Havana? To convince him that I did not murder the splendid man who gave him birth? But you were acquitted of this charge, Senor. They said you were innocent. Ah, see, but in the eyes of the boy, I want to read my innocence in his eyes. I'm just scratching, McGill. I, I don't know if the boy is dead. Maybe you'd know, being so close to his father and all. I advise, senor, let me look for the boy. Then perhaps you will live to welcome him into my arms. Adios, senores. Adios. Hmm. Juan McGill... Thumb through his biography for me, LaSalle. Oh, he is an honored man in Havana, senor. He was the political enemy of Horta Carrada, but as you heard, he's... Permit me, is this where it is to register for a room? Single or double? Single would be pleasant. I can give you room 2B right down the hall. Hot and cold running water. And a stall shower which you can squeeze into with the jet in 2C. And if you stand on the bed, you can see the ocean. Room 2B will be very pleasant. Well, there's the pen right in front of you. Just sign the register. Gracias. I am sure that I will enjoy it here. Hey, you write pretty big, don't you? Took up three lines on the register. So that you can read my name and address? I'm afraid you'll have to carry the baggage yourself because... This baggage I always carry myself. We charge for guns according to their caliber. What is that, uh, 32? Well, that'll be 50 cents... This gun cents. does not frighten you? Even when I release the safety catch? All right, I'm frightened. And I'm curious. What do you want? To do you a favor... To take you to Mario Carrada. Move, senorita, or you will see him through sightless eyes. What do you mean, sailor's not here, King? She's supposed to be working the desk. Did she tell you where she was going? No, Mr. Slit. I was shopping for the kitchen the whole time. I have no idea what idea came to Miss Saylor. Yeah, she and her girlish whims. 
Why does she do things like that? If it will make you feel any better, Mr. Slate, we got a new guest. It says here in the register. A gentleman from Mariel. Mariel? That's where I was supposed to pick up Mario. Let's see that register. Juan McGill. I wonder what he's doing here in my hotel. He's registered for room 2B, Mr. Slate. Why don't we ask him? Yeah. Why don't we? Come on, King. Senor Miguel. Senor. Give me the pass key, King. Huh. He's not in. Hmm. Hasn't been either from the looks of the room. Just the way I left it when I made it up. The way he wrote his name in the book so no one could miss it. And his address in Mariel. And the fact that Miss Salo is suddenly not among us. I will make you a thermos of something hot, Mr. Slate. You will want it for the boat trip to Mariel. Miguel! Senor Miguel! Who is? Slate Shannon. Open up. Hey, where... It was behind your back, Shannon. Try real hard, Slate. Open your eyes. Uh, Come on, one more try and you'll make it. uh, Yeah. Don't try to move your arms. They're in back of you and they're tied. Your legs, too. We make neat bundles. Yeah. Where are we, sailor? What is this? I can give you a vivid description. We're in the only fish cannery in the port of Mariel, and we're tied up after hours. What are they going to do to us? Can us? I've been sitting here looking at you for the last couple of hours, wondering how you look filleted. I don't think you look good. Never pass inspection. When Miguel took you away, did he introduce you to Mario? Mario's over there. Dead. Shot. Oh. Miguel? Yeah. First he gave Mario a speech on politics. Then he shot him. Miguel's saving us for the ocean, huh? Because we're not Cuban. He doesn't want to be connected with any murdered Americans. Hmm. Fish cannery, huh? What makes you so dreamy about a fish cannery? Just about a conveyor belt. You see that switch? Mm Mm-hmm. It says off. Well, ease over to it. I'll try. Yeah, that's it. Now, it's right in back of you. Now, reach up. A little higher. Can you make it? I'm trying. It hurts. It's an awfully cold ocean, sailor. Reach. Did you bring a fish to can, or did you just come here for the ride? I'm going to try to use the edge of this conveyor belt for a knife. Slate, be careful. That thing can cut right through your hand. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep it in mind. Yeah, I made it, sailor. Wait a second, I'll untie my feet. Okay, sir. Sa- hey, did you turn off that switch? No, Slate. He did. With one hand, Shannon. I needed the other to hold the gun. You disappointed me. I thought that you would die without a struggle, a clean death. Don't let it worry you. <laughs> Duck, sailor. And you or me, Miguel. Stupido, stupido. You... Uh, now, now pull that trigger and you'll blow your heart out. <clears throat> pull it. Go ahead. Uh, you just temporarily saved your own life, Miguel. When are you going to stop fooling around and untie me? <laughs> yeah, I like you better this way. Come on, Slate. These cords are cutting into my ankles. And I'd be a fool to let anything happen to those ankles. Hand them up to me, sailor, then I'll take you home.
Tommy Slade. It came. What did? The reward. What are you talking about? What reward? For capturing a criminal. Don't you remember? The owner of the cannery said he was going to send us a reward because he got so much favorable publicity. People are eating his tuna like crazy. He's a lucky fellow. What's he send us? Tuna, shredded, grated, filleted, breast of, and creamed. A dozen cans of each. That's a real genuine reward, all right. I've got a reward for you, too. <laughs> because I was so brave and swashbuckling? Because you were so nice about my ankles. You really like them, huh? Better than canned tuna. What's the reward? Come here. Like that? Figure out a way to can that stuff, sailor. I'm a hungry man. And so our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Venture. Bold Venture.